we finished running all the wire to our electrical boxes. Now we're going to start cutting them all in. I think it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway, that these wires are not actually connected to any kind of electrical service or box. You can see them here rolled up nice and neatly next to our electrical box, but they're not actually connected to anything yet. You want to cut them in, A, because when you go to sheetrock, you can roto, like the wires aren't in your way, you can roto zip a lot easier around the box. And then B, I want to get the lights up and running for like my sheetrock guy and some other contractors that they want you know, outlets and stuff for their power tools and everything. So you want to cut in all the boxes when you're done pretty much running all the wires. So we have the two wires coming out. What we're going to do here, so we got power in, power out for, you know, regular electrical um, box. We're going to cut the stripper wire. So I got all my wire stripped. What I did also is got, I grabbed an extra piece of wire. I stripped both ends, it's, a, it's called a pigtail. So I like to set it up for when I'm done sheet rocking, I go to, you know, everything's painted, we go to install the outlets. I just like to put one free out wires to the outlet, one black, one neutral, one ground. Screw it in, put it in, you're done. I don't like to do, go stripping stuff twice. So I got everything stripped here. I got all my blacks, I'll put all my, my pigtail black to all my, my two other blacks. Wire nut this. I got two wire nut sizes here in these cases. So you gotta see what size wire you have and for what minimum size wire nut it is. So basically, I have a red and a yellow. The red is a minimum of two 14 wires. So I use this red one on, this is three 14 wires here, which is plenty fine. And the yellow is a minimum of two 18 wires maximum of free number 12 wires. So we're plenty good on the yellow. So in these boxes, I don't like to use two 14 wires for a red wire nut, even though they say you can. Tight enough, but I just rather have at least three 14 wires on the red wire nut. But what I do is I wire nut all my blacks, I wire nut all my um, whites together with the pigtail. And then on the pigtail, I'll use the yellow wire nut to cap it off pretty much until we go to install the electrical outlets on the finish. So I'll take my wire, I got my two pigtails from my black and white. I'll take my wire one because it's a small little wire nut. You can use any other small little wire nut just to, to kind of cap it off and it's nice and snug on there. I'll do this on the white as well. And then I get these green wire nuts, which are brown wire nuts. And I'll take my two grounds. So we didn't, if you notice, we didn't cut a pigtail for the ground. So what I like to do for the ground, push this in the box a little bit, bring this one out a little bit more. So the way this works is there's a hole up top here and this ground wire goes right through our wire nut and attaches on, and now we can attach this other ground to it in one wire nut. That it saves you from having to make a pigtail on it. So you do this until it, you get a nice little turn on it. That way you know it caught. So now we have the ground pigtail, we have a white pigtail, and we have a black pigtail. So now I'm gonna push it all back in the box, get it ready for sheetrock, but when I go to do the finish, all I have to do is hook up this white, hook up to this black, hook up this ground, and this these two wires are interconnected, and I just keep I can roll through the finish real quick. But like I said, we'll push this back in the box for now so we can sheet rock real easy. You know, we can roto zip around the box real easy when we go to sheet rock. Get a nice push back. So now it's nice and pushed back. We can roto zip and I can continue connecting all the circuits and I can get some temporary lights for my sheet rock guy or whoever, you know, any other contractor out there that needs light to work in the basement.